Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box. and in this video I'm showing these amazing art books from Spain so these are all in Spanish and I originally saw these on the channel The Art Spirit and she's a really good artist and she always shows us these amazing books and I saw these and as I was like, oh my gosh, those are really cool. So I went on Amazon and I thought there might be English versions, but they just come in Spanish. And these are the ones that I saw on her channel. I saw this one. And this one on her channel. And then while I was browsing for those, I spotted this one and I thought the cover looked really gorgeous. So these are the ones I got. So I shall do a flip through of them. So and I just I love that Spain has these big format art books where you can see large format illustrations and, and then there's um, text in Spanish and a story and the artists, the illustrators get to showcase their art in large format books like this. I love this idea. I wish we sort of had this um, idea in the UK because I think it would be really cool to, to make one. So these are the um, books that I will be showing you today. So let me change the camera angle and we shall have a look at each one. I obviously um, can't really read the back of the books or the stories so we'll be taking a look at the illustrations and if you can read the language then you can also read what it says. And these are gorgeous, so you can see how big they are compared to me. Well, uh, let's have a closer look at these gorgeous art books. Yay. So here we can see the front cover and it's gorgeous because I just love the design of the face and I really like um, drawing faces myself. And this book is by Miguel Aranda and Esther Gilly and this is second edition and the cover she looks like a mermaid because she's got fish and these bubbles around her and it's published by Astro Nave so this is the back and it's got the sea and the fish and that's the story if you can if you speak Spanish that's what the book's about so let's have a look so the inside cover is this gorgeous seascape design of the waves and we have the tag page and it's a, a girl listening to a seashell and it's like a conch and surrounded by seaweed and fish and it's gorgeous then we have and these seem to be um, poems or songs and we have fish and this one has an autumn theme Then we've got the girl and she's in the bath and she's really cool, she's got a tattoo of a fish and she's in a bathtub with these fish and I love these tiles and the towels and the spa items and the little bowl of bath salts and the tiles have got fish on too so I think this might be some mermaid theme I think there's a it's a love story. See so this guy is 
and he's playing the violin and he's got I love the set of the story arts the story and um, this beam is coming out a lot brighter on the camera than it is in the book well that look that looks really cool so um and he's got all his musical accoutrement, so he's a musician. And we have this page, and it's got a paper boat, an anchor, a shell, and a fish. And here's a little bit of English musical. Carlos, I come from down in the valley. So I think some of these might be songs or something. So, and there's beautiful waves behind the picture. And now we've got these, and it's a cafe, and it's got all the fish, and they're having a conversation. I like the lighting, how, how they've lit this lower light, so, and then highlighted this part of the story with the lighting. This. This guy is gorgeous. I really like him. He's like really fit, and I like the the boat. And oh, he's gorgeous. That is my aesthetic for men. And he's got his beautiful hair highlights, and he's got his tattoos. Oh, he's he's gorgeous. Yes, I love this. Like, I haven't actually looked through all the each paid so some of this is as much a surprise to me as it might be to you well this is a gorgeous paint palette a watercolor palette and uh, I, I, I love um paintings of painting supplies i just think they're beautiful and now there we have this picture and she's running up the street and it's a bread shop and he's hiding seems to be hiding in the alleyway and she's really excited and running up the street and then she kisses him and you can see her tattoo and there's all these fish and these fish tangled in her hair and she's kissing him because why wouldn't you because he's gorgeous well, and that's gorgeous and then they're standing by the cliffs and I think this this is the sea splashing against the cliffs and it's sort of a uh, evening light. They're, they're in this sort of, um, I think they're in the cafe and there's all these bottles and things on the shelves. And then it's sort of like a beach party and I really like how the lighting of the lamps and you can see how the lighting falls overhead onto the people. So there's really um, also a really good book for help you understand light sources and how to light your pictures. And it's gorgeous. So nocturnal night, I think. And, and now we've got um, a list of in, seems to be a list of ingredients or remedies yeah. there we got this picture he's really cute he's got his braces on and he's flipping his cards I like how it shows the movement of him flipping the cards and we have a bicycle and it's a menu and then there's the in the um, vintage car and it sort of looks like a Morris Minor style car or a 2CV or um, maybe a Mini and then we have a guy on his um, Volkswagen camper and he's playing his um, uke or his banjo lily or his banjo and this seems to be sort of a wild boar 
and there's people up here on this sort of balcony. And then we have Scrabble game, which is really cool because Scrabble was like a big part of a big part of my family. That granny and granddad Scrabble all the time, and we always used to play Scrabble. And Granny was the the person to um, win at Scrabble because she she was brilliant at Scrabble. And Scrabble was a big game growing up. So this is really cool, and it's got the words in Spanish. And then this picture is quite melancholy. She's seen she's on her bed and she seems to be floating in the sea and she's thinking and then they seem to be fighting as they fell out and she's I like how she's coated as like water and blue and he seems to be earth and sort of fire and grounded grounding type person she's water so then we've got the big wave and this is reminiscent of Hokusai of the of the big wave picture. Now we have somebody carrying um, um a, a bag the bag print of the bag has got fish or it could even be a bag with fish in it and the and seems to be uh, perhaps, or perhaps she's packed her bags and is walking away. Then we have a compass. And then she's been for a swim and she seems to be in the desert. She's deserted. And she's been first swim in the ocean. And then it's cold and icy. And this person's all wrapped up warm, but it's all glaciers. And then she's here under the, the blossoms and she's writing in her journal under the and it looks like she's under the sakura and then she's at a party and she's dancing and she can see that she's got a tattoo on her leg as well and she's just really cool and then here's the guy and he's with his friends and he's talking and start in a cafe and then this figure in his some scrabble tiles is in this sort of water outfit with this collar Then he's playing his violin I love that, that's gorgeous and then there's this guy here and it's playing his part it's like he's playing the music about his um girlfriend who uh, this seems to be a book all about this couple they get together but then they have a really big row and they part and then they're thinking of each other and there's these they look like um baubles like Christmas baubles but they've been sent through the post and then looks like she's come back and he's working at the cafe and she's come back to see him and he sees her through the door and then they're back together oh and then they decided to get back together and she looks a lot happier. 
and in this says the river this record here so he's like music and land and she's the sea and then there's this song so it's like the combining of him and combining of her so it's like so that is really sweet it's about a relationship about how like she's the sea and he's the earth and they get together but then they have a row and but they have a row and then they um finding themselves and then they once they found themselves and who they are they get back together because they understand each other better oh that's beautiful i really like that oh that, that i showed you the the back of oh that's gorgeous so now on to this one this is Encantadis and this is who it's by and we have a redhead in a um, black outfit looking at little butterflies and then we have this lady and she looks like the one from the other book and she's got lots of butterflies so that's what it says on the back she has lots of butterflies this book is published by Lumen yeah. See the inside cover of this one is um, wildflowers and butterflies. So we have this um, girl and she's holding a heart shaped key. So, so there's a really cute girl under her umbrella wearing her raincoat and rain boots. There we have the story and this heart shaped key on a rope and a big heart and the city is on this heart so you've got all the buildings and then the wild forest area and then some residential and a big castle There we have the, the butterfly lady and this lady. And then this girl and she's got a birthday cake and it's all in the dark. She looks a bit surprised at the cake. Then we have a, a lady in the dark and this person in the light in the snow and this this person looking out and under her silhouette you can see the shapes of butterflies and this bit which seems to be on the phone so her silhouette is about what she's thinking or what she's done just before uh, leaving the where she is so that's really cool I like how they've used the silhouette to show a different thought of the person so we have this cute one and she's running about and Jane she seems to be very excitable and loves to run about amongst the flowers i have this um sort of um, illustration i was gonna call it a frontispiece but it's not a frontispiece it's probably called something up and then we have this lady she's very nosy look She's got a glass up against the wall. She's having a rattle nosy. Yeah. 
and then this person seems to be out for therapists but she's really far away from the therapist and she's talking about stuff and then this the mysterious therapist and she's got really cool shoes on and the picture's got the butterflies on then they got a locked box secrets of the heart so you got so it seems to be about secrets and then we've got she's getting a rose from this person and she's got wearing hearts and she seems to be happy to get a rose but a little bit shy and we've got the the guy on top of the reefs and he's playing his guitar And we have a handbag with lots of things spilling out. And we have, she has, um, it's compass and plasters. The plaster has a high heel and one, the plaster has a star, a silver thimble, a magnifying glass. Not sure is, oh yeah, a packet of tissues, um, tweezers, perfume, and what seems to be a magic wand, a Harry Potterish wand. So that looks interesting. And we have a butterfly and some more butterflies. And uh, seems to be a conversation. Then we have this glamorous lady and the ah oh, there's a black cat. Oh, oh it's a, and and this it's fourth November and she's admiring her jewellery. And here's the parrot. It's got books and the butterflies are in the bell jar and it says Avara witch hmm. and then this she said she's picking up a, a gem or a bead with her tweezers so perhaps she's broken something because she seems quite shocked or reluctant there we have this guy he reminds me of Jon Snow from Game of Thrones because it's got the, the birds and he's all black and then this cute person and they're kissing a fish and they're under the sea and it does all these cute fish and then this is like a journal somebody's wrote in the journal and they've done doodling in their journal so this looks like a journal entry a little diary of what they've done because it's got times of the day too can't wait to that certain go through and translate this see what the stories are and then this is like oh my gosh i've forgotten his name he's the alphonse mutcher yeah that's it alphonse mutcher and it's like in that his style of and it's it's gorgeous and she's got these perfumes and is enjoying this perfume and we see the butterfly theme again and then this person is these seem to be like um darker perfumes or even like she's poison and this is like showing the poisonous things in nature so you have the snake with the poison colours and the frogs and the poison possibly poisonous mushrooms and things and she has a scorpion tattoo and this is a all about different flowers and then we have a periodic table and then it's got a um, test tube of stars blowing out and 
there seems to be a, a fantasy periodic table and it's got character names and sort of magic things and this girl is she's making cupcakes and she's all pink and about hearts and there's a butterfly again and then this seems to be the caged bird and she's in the caged bird and that's um, the cuttlefish bone that you put in birds cages and she's got all these feathers then we have some letters with rose petals in and more letters I like how each one is on a different style of paper and this one's been ripped out from a notebook and you can see that then we have the this page this like a bowl rings and it's like these tiny little people and they're on top of a coffee machine they're hauling up this piece of bread because it looks like the bread has fallen but upside down so they've come along and they're hauling it up again so yeah that's really cute and there's a big jar of strawberry jam And then there's this page with lots of lights and she's um, sat on this ladder and the sign says, looks like it says, do not disturb. And there's lot oh well. There's this door, it says 221, it, I don't know if that's, 221B, Sherlock Holmes's house, oh my gosh. There's a 221B door. That is cool. Now we have this gorgeous red head. Uh, then these framed pictures of different animals. A cat, a snake, a parrot, a sort of chameleon, the um, weather bean. Wolves, a poodle, a toad, a raven, and a tortoise. So you have these people in, so it looks like a jazz band, and somebody dancing to the jazz. Then we have this lady, and she's got in. got all these things that she's selling so she's in her shop oh this court has got this girl and she's reading a book and in her hair you can see what she's reading about all these different um, stories the pirates the wizard of Oz Oh wait, hang on. So, Beauty and the Beast, because there's a rose in a bell jar, The Wizard of Oz, um, Hook, and all these, then, um, is that Huckleberry Finn or something else? All these different stories, and you can see them in her Afro hairstyle, so that's a really clever idea. And then there's people on a cliff, and you can see that I love how she's um, drawn the wind um, the, the, and all the things falling about in the wind. That's really cool. There we have these doodles. We have a calculation and eyes in a what? A cloud, a bow, a feather, some stars, somebody crossing their fingers, and eyes up there. Then we have these. Maybe those about uh, what the stories mean, what those pictures mean, and maybe how they did them. And then this 
lady as following the sort of mermaidy lady who has butterflies out of the water but she's sort of standing on the water against the moonlight so that's that book uh, it's gorgeous I love even uh, I love that I don't know the language of the words but you can create your own stories from the illustrations so I love that yay so this next book is a different artist to the previous two this artist is Anna Santos this book is published by the man and um, it seems to be a sea theme again and this is the back of the book and we have this sort of pinkish colour in the title page with this pencil art oh cool we have a sort of snake tongue a watermelons all this stuff coming out of the magician's hat so that's cool we have somebody holding a hat and it's night and there's a lady in the background she seems to be walking towards it oh and there's this person she's got snowflakes below her eyes that's really cute gorgeous and this person is a writer and she's coming up with stories and this this person seems to, person looks a bit scary and she seems to be looking in her mirror and it's really cool there we have Two people and embracing, and it goes from the sort of the loose pencil sketch into the coloured piece. So that's awesome. This is more like a, a book with pencil work, and it's just real cool. It's a book, and it's got a cat, and it's showing it. Um, all the thoughts and stories that come out of books oh it's Mary Poppins oh wow cool oh and there's all the <laughs> sorry flapping my hand a bit because this is cool there's all the chimney sweeps dancing on the rooftops oh that's a real cool interpretation of Mary Poppins that's all I said. Wow, look at that lovely pot. Oh, that looks tasty. Ah, that's so cool. And everything sort of colour blends in. And now we've got these. This expression is cool. So sarcastic, sarcastic, irony, irony. So, oceano, ocean. So you can figure out some words on this page. Then we've got a really cool pirate ship. Oh, I love the dynamic of the water. It's very, lots of movement in that pit. And we have the sea, this really colourful bird on an island. 
and the fish under the sea and a big shell and there's the a boat over there. Now we have some deep that that is really cool reference for how to draw somebody typing on a laptop from that angle. And it's a typing on their computer and they've got this cool notebook and there's a coffee. That's really useful and it shows you how to direct the light in the picture. That's cool. And we've got this attic and this girl looking into the attic and it looks really nice place to sit and read your books because lots of books and a bunny teddy bear. Oh, so. oh I thought, oh, and a girl asleep, she's cuddling her to, oh, I thought, oh, I know, oh, sorry, I just, oh, that's so sweet, I love that. Then there's these blocks, letter blocks, and I love the colours. And then there's this page, somebody ripped it up and then stuck this paper back together and then we have some characters here, Peter Pan so and then we have this cool person and she's got this dark lipstick and she's um, got a tattoo on her neck and it's darts in the um, looks like darts in the apple and it's really cool so we've got this house with loads of helium balloons in and they're all up at the ceiling and it's all windy outside and there's a big balloon outside. Oh Sherlock Holmes, oh yeah, Sherlock Holmes is Dr Watson. Oh this is really cool, I would like how they've done the magnifying glass. I like how the magnifying glass is over his mouth and not over his, not a big eye kind of thing. And all the books are, oh, yay, that's really cool. And then this person, and it's like Arabian Nights and she's looking out of the window at the moon. Gorgeous. And we've got all different like focusing in on the eyes and the nose and the hands then the chocolate then we have this person she's enjoying the music from the saxophone have a world map and lots of different information about each part of the world map Oh, that's gorgeous. Really nice close up of the eye. Do we have a king and a queen and they're eating at their dinner table but there's a massive wasp bee thing and a big chess piece. They have these two people in their fancy outfits. Oh, yeah, they're this person in this moon and a raven in the key. Snowflakes, a wedding ring, a, a ticket, and some songs. Oh, this like um, Marie Antoinette or like the Palace of Versailles Gardens. So we have this alphabet and some more focused in sketches. Then this person, it's got a um, ink pot on her head and an R earring. She looks very interesting. Oh that's nice. 
Oh, I really like how that's done. This person's face is sort of looking at the galaxy and the pink area of the galaxy is on their eyes. Oh, that, that's really nice how they've done that. Then we have the person playing the harp and they seem to be in room and if playing uh, is that a lute no the harp playing the harp and I love the expression in the hair the person flying the play aviator that's really cool oh cool a person in the spear car and the, on the way to Chicago, but I love how they've done this particular character slightly out of focus. So there's that depth in the picture. That's awesome. Then we've got um, fabric spilling out of a washing machine and a boat and the moon and go outside and there's path to out, outside. Then little red riding hood with the wool. And this person and it looks like he's a scientist and uh, these gorgeous flowers around his house. And he seemed to be working on his experiments. And a patchwork of different patterns on this um, patchwork quilt and this person in the being outside these buildings and um, this um, index and this gorgeous person See that? These books are absolutely beautiful. I love them. I hope you have enjoyed looking at these books with me. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay!